Hey guys, welcome to Pi 2.2. We're very excited to bring you these workouts. Today's workout's gonna be a little bit challenging, but I'm pretty sure you'll do, you'll do just fine, okay? So some of the movement that we're gonna be going through are lunges to push-ups, tricep up, down, okay? Toes to bar, pull-ups, and finishing up with monkey jumps, side-to-side -side monkey jumps. I know what you're thinking, what the heck is that? It's a new movement. We wanted to bring you some animal movement, something fun, right into your workout, all right? So I'm gonna demonstrate the movements and then just follow through, all right? So here we go. So a few things that we're gonna need with us before getting started. You're not gonna need a lot of equipment today, okay? Likely for you. All you're gonna need is a pull-up bar. That's all you need, all right? So the first movement before we use that pull-up bar is gonna be our lunge to push-ups, all right? So lunge to push-ups. You're gonna need space, step right out into your lunge position, okay? Bring that knee down. You're gonna bring your arms inside of your leg, whatever leg you step out with. You're gonna bring that leg back. You're gonna do your push-up all the way down and all the way up. You're gonna bring that leg all the way back and then you're gonna stand up. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate that once more facing this way. Okay, we wanna lunge forward. Okay, we want the perfect lunge at 90 degree. We wanna bring our hands inside of our knee. Step out, chest down, push up, come back into a lunge position, and right up, all right? So you're gonna do 20 of those, all right? 10 on each side. Again, make sure that as you do your lunge, you really pay attention to that 90 degree position as you step up. All right, engage the glute, keep your abs contracted the whole time as you do that movement. All right, our next movement, okay, that we're gonna be going through is our tricep up-down, all right? With the tricep up-down, again, we're still engaging the abs, okay? Keeping our core um, engaged the whole time as well, all right? So in the process, what we're gonna try to target is our triceps, our chest, and our shoulders, all right? So here, again, just on the floor, if you, um, if you want a mat, you can use a mat, but I won't use a mat, I'm just gonna use the floor, all right? Here, you're gonna start off, actually, we wanna start you off in a push-up position. Okay, from a push-up uh, push position, you're gonna go right into your forearms, okay? And then you're gonna come back right into your push-up position. Okay, down to your forearms, and right back up to your push-up position, all right? So you're gonna do 10, going up on one side, utilizing one arm, and then once you do 10, then you're gonna do 10 on the other arm as well. All right, so the goal is to do 20, okay? 20 reps, 10 on each side, all right? So utilizing going up on one arm and then up on the other arm, all right? From there, we're gonna go to our pull-ups, all right? So with our pull-ups, again, like I mentioned, you need a bar. With uh, the pull-ups, we want our arms just slightly outside our shoulders, all right? So we don't want close to go, uh, too close and then we don't want to do too wide, all right? So we want to just slightly outside the shoulders. This way we can engage our lats, all right, our scapula, all right, and then our shoulder blades, all right? So we want to contract our shoulder blades as much as we can. So this way we can target our rhom uh, rhomboids as well, all right? Which stabilize our uh, thoracic spine and our scapula, all right? So here, I'm gonna reach up. I'm gonna grab just slightly outside of my shoulders. Don't bend, don't cross your um, legs. Just bring them together, all right? So this helps us and forces us to engage our abs, all right? And our hips as well, all right? From here, I'm gonna pull all the way up, contract and slowly down. All the way up and then slowly down, all right? So here, we're gonna do 20 pull-ups, all right? If you can't do 20 pull-ups, it's all right. Just modify it by keeping your feet on the ground, okay? Where you can utilize a bar, um, and a squat rack where you can keep your uh, legs on the ground and pull up to the bar, all right? Or you can use resistant bands, all right? Tie the resistant bands up, all right? So I have a pair of resistant bands right here. So what you can do is you take a resistant band such like these ones, tie them up, okay? And then put your feet on here, all right? From there, all right, you can grab and it'll help you and assist you, all right? All right, so I'm gonna bring these down, okay? 
And if you don't have resistant bands, okay, and you belong to a gym, what you can do, you can utilize a assisted pull-up machine, all right? Where you just change the weight, and that also can help you to do the pull-ups. So you're doing 20 pull-ups, all right? After the 20 pull-ups, you're going right into your toes to bars. Toes to bars, we want to do the exact same way that we did our pull-ups, all right? Arms just slightly outside our shoulders, all right? To make sure that we engage our abs as much as possible and our hips as well. All right, so here, I'm gonna grab on the bar just outside of my shoulders. I'm gonna bring the toes, uh, my toes all the way up to the bar, all right? Touch, and then down. And then down. And down, all right? So make sure you control your legs down slowly as you can, all right? So this way you're engaging your abs as much as possible, as well as your back muscles, all right? So this way you don't wanna just drop quick up and down, up and down, all right? So slowly as much as you can, all right? And if you can't do that, all right, toes to bar, the way that you can modify that is actually by doing knee tucks, all right? The knee tucks, same positioning with our arms, wanna bring your knees in and then down, in and down, all right? So you're gonna do 20 of those, all right? And if you can't do knee tucks either, just do them on the floor where you can modify by doing something like sit-ups or, you know, uh, V-ups will be another option, all right? From there, we're gonna move right into our last movement, which is our favorite movement as well, all right? Side to side, monkey jumps, all right? Just, side, just like how it sounds, we're jumping like monkeys, all right? Um, here, you're gonna start in a squat position, all right? From the squat position, what you wanna do is keep all your weight on your toes, center your body, okay? From here, we're gonna utilize our hands, placing them right outside of our shoulders, and then we wanna jump our feet to the other side, all right? So I'm gonna try to demonstrate without hitting any of these bars, all right? So here we go. And then bring your hands back up, keeping all your weight on your toes and balancing as much as you can. All right, then I wanna switch side. And then back up, all right? And then back up, all right? So the goal for this is to do 20 times. All right, so the 20 time, that means you wanna do 10 on each side. So ch changing side, all right? So you wanna do 20, okay, 10 on each side, all right? So pace yourself, all right? If it feels hard at the first time, okay, again, after doing your tricep up, down, doing the lunge to push-ups, doing your pull-ups, your shoulders, your arms are gonna be burning, all right? Your tricep, your biceps, okay? Just overall your uh, deltos, everything's gonna be burning. So as you do that movement, pace yourself to where you really control your body so you're not coming down hard as your legs are coming down. So control your legs down slowly as possible, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Let me know exactly what you thought of the movement and the workout. We look forward to connecting with you. And if you have any questions at all regarding any of the movement that you see, feel free to comment on the video. We look forward to connecting with you again. Good luck and have fun.